Boy, oh boy, uh, things are getting spicy over with Genki now. If you don't know, Genki, I believe it was February of 2023. We can scroll down and find the post here. They pretty much made a post like, hey, we got an office space. February 13th, 2023, new floor. And before that, they posted, I think it was just like the empty floor, February 12th. So they got all set up, okay? Now we know Genki still kind of does some like racing i guess in japan here or there <sighs> sit down boys because not only have they just recently officially opened a youtube channel as of two days ago we have some other news and we have some chapter nine filings for a new it could be sale, software sales for a new computer game mobile game uh anything like that and they have a game coming soon on Steam, which means that if anything, if we are getting a new Toko Extreme Racer Shotoko battle, it could possibly drop on Steam for PC. I've, I know they've done mobile stuff. They did, we're just gonna get into it. All right, so look, I saw this a while ago and I made a post last year, a year and a half ago. And I was like, what could this mean, right? So if you've heard of the game Drift Spirit, it's a mobile game. Um, they've added, you know, they added back some iconic cars. So if we go to the page, they have Bloodhound, Midnight Silver Wolf. You got Rolling Guy. You play Tokyo Shroom Racer, you know these cars, okay? They got Gloomy Angel or Dejected Angel, however you want to call it. You got Speed Emperor, Speed King, you know, the R34. You can't, like, look at this. Come on. Come on, you got white charisma. And then eight star, you've got Emperor Speed here. Now, Emperor Speed was, you know, a Subaru, obviously, STI. Um, but this is what they got for the game, the Drift Spirits. I've never played the game. I don't know if it was even available in the US. I can't, I don't know. I think I looked it up one time. I can't remember, but so here's the deal. So Genki, has been putting up some things. Let's watch this video real quick. Can we get it? Uh, yeah, look, let's watch this, okay? Now this is for Drift Spirits, but we're just gonna watch it, okay? It's probably gonna be a little grainy and blurry because, you know, Twitter, X, whatever it is, I don't even have an account to log in. We're gonna get into the meat and potatoes here, boys, but goddamn, I mean, just seeing these cars in this game, like Genki dropped them, why would they revive it for a drift game on the Wangan if they weren't really planning to do something, right? That's home for Tokyo Extreme Racer. Now, I'm really hoping this isn't a mobile game because if you remember, uh, where was it here? You guys gonna keep playing? My bad. If you remember uh, back in 2017, we thought we were gonna get a new game and they dropped um, the Toko Battle Extreme for mobile and it um i don't think i ever got to play it i don't i don't think it was released any i can't remember i can't remember i think i tried to get it i couldn't but regardless let's go back to their twitter okay now the cool thing is it won't let me translate whatever translate by a really try um devil road run is coming soon on steam so the fact that genki is on steam and can release games on steam gives me big big hope that we could get a revival of the series i mean they're not gonna drop i mean look at car x right car x street we're still waiting for the pc port right but they dropped mobile on mobile but they obviously are waiting for steam so if they've already got steam they're not going to drop a mobile style game on Steam. They're going to actually have like a PC version ready, right? Um, we don't know if it's going to be on consoles, obviously, but this game is, let me pull it up. It's kind of like a puzzle game here. It's like a run, walk, puzzle, solver thing. Nothing crazy. It's not, you know, Genki has made plenty of other things besides racing games. You can look up all the stuff they've done, but just the fact that they're here, Genki. Mm -hmm. All right, so look, so December 2023. TokyoExtremeRacer.com, coming soon, Brave Entertainment. You've played Tokyo Extreme Racer, you know that logo. 
Now also on top of that, cravegames.com has the same thing coming soon. Do with that information what you will, but this has been out there for eight months now, all right? So have you ever heard of Root KS? I don't know if it's called Root K's, Root KS. It's a Japanese. They do pretty much NSX um, customization and stuff. They're, they kind of do like races and stuff. So they, they have their own stuff. They have a sick like wide body, you know? I mean, they just, they make some kits for the NSX. All right, so they have a blog, right? If you go to the blog, and we go back to February of this year. Genki visited this uh, this Route KS. Let's read it. We translated it. Okay, thanks to Google, because I can't read. The other day, Genki Co. LTD came to our store and the Route KS NSX Aero Part S Series was used again in the Shotoko Battle released by Genki Co. LTD. It will be released this year, and since I'm not very good at games, I don't really know much about it, but please look forward to it. Now, there could be some words here lost in translation. I doubt it would drop this year. If they did drop this on us soon, and it's like ready to go, I will literally shit a fucking brick. But look, the fact that they went to this place and was scanning one of their NSXs for aero parts, I mean, if they're not planning on reviving the series, why would they be scanning cars? Right? I, I just, I pray that it's not another mobile game. I pray that it is not. It's just, and, and the fact that it's on Steam just gives me just a little bit of hope that it could be a PC release. I mean, we could get a PC port of the older games, or like upscale graphics or like added stuff into it. I mean, that would be great in and of itself. Because, I mean, Crave, they still got Crave Games and the license for that. So, on top of that, let's, let's go back, scroll down. This could be their new logo, right? Very similar to what we know, what we love. Little twist on it. I kind of like it. I don't know what any of that says. There's a telephone and fax number. Genki Racing Product. Genki Racing Project. Route K's, right? I mean, that's... This is big right here, okay? Devil uh, Road Run game, okay? This was announced four days ago, okay? And then on top of that, they just announced two days ago, I saw this this morning, about an official YouTube channel. Now this is what the post said, translated. Genki Corporation has opened a YouTube account. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Genki official YouTube, which takes us to here now they have 3,000 subs it's probably going to be a while before they kind of jump up because i mean genki was always a little bit on the smaller side right and they've been kind of missing for a while but i mean sure they could use this to promote this new devil run road run game or they could drop something about a new tokyo stream racer i mean the fact that they are literally scanning cars and arrow kits come on man but I have one more big thing to show you here, okay? So there's an automated trademark bot on Twitter X, okay? So I pulled it, I got it translated here. Commercial application trademark, Tokyo Extreme Racer applicant, Genki Co. LTD. Application date was April 26. Classification category nine. It's pretty much any electronic software video game. Could be mobile, could be PC. Okay, downloadable video game software, downloadable computer game software for personal computers and home video game consoles. There's a YouTuber by the name of Dioxide, I believe it is. He was the one who found this. I don't want to take credit for this. I, I stumbled across, uh, across this and I was just like, holy shit. But I mean, everything lines up with the potential for a new Tokyo Trim Racer. And if you know on the channel, we've done Tokyo Trim Racer 0, we've done 3, we've done Drift 2, we've done Import Tuner Challenge, we did uh, Tokyo Trim Racer 3 with 4K mods. We've done like, this game does not get enough love, especially from the bigger YouTubers. And it, it's more of a niche game, but it's such a great game. And the fact that it could be revived. Now, I'm sure 
you know, I mean, we're talking 25 years later, even 18 on their last game was 17, 18 years. I think it was 07 Importuner Challenge came out. And they didn't have as many cars. You went from like hundreds of cars down to like, I think it was like 20 to 30 cars. Obviously licensing, um, it's more expensive these days. So, especially with them revi like reviving the company, it's probably gonna be harder to get like licensed cars, especially a lot of them. Who knows, maybe they got something up their sleeves. Maybe they're gonna go like the Car X route where they can actually kind of finagle it to kind of look the same, but not, and then just make them different names. They've never really done that, so I don't see them doing that. But um, all of this has me so freaking excited. So that's pretty much all I've been able to find. And um, I'm gonna keep my eyes posted on this YouTube channel and see what they drop. If they drop even like a 10 second just announcement with like the logo or something with some like cars revving in the background from the official YouTube, that's it. We're in boys. So anyway, let me know what you think about this information. This is absolutely insane. And um, please, Please let this be an actual game and not a mobile. Anyway, boys, you know the drill. Subscribe, come back. See you on the next one.